Hello, it's me, Mayo Hosco, and welcome to my channel. Hello, it's me, Mayo Hosco, and as I said in a previous video, I tore apart my castle so that I can build a new one. And I had figured out the build style that I want to use for my Port Colors gate, and I finally got the friction right. Because there's not a lot of friction in here, so now gravity can do its job. I also have my system set up for uh, the drawbridge. So I had this assembly from the 2013 LEGO Castle set. And I took some of the pieces apart because I wanted to um, do a, a different design. And so what I've done is I put a dark bluish grey 2x12 plate on top of the garage door bricks. I'll eventually want to replace these white 1x2 garage door bricks with light bluish grey ones. So I've got my height for my portcullis gate and on top of this plate I put some 2x2 two two dark bluish grey inverted slopes and then now I can raise my drawbridge. And it is a little bit tedious. I think eventually I want to I put some um, bricks later on in this video to trap the string into winding into a certain location. But at the bottom here, you can see that we've got uh, two one by two light bluish grey bricks, and on top of that, two dark bluish grey Technic bricks with these special Technic plates with the the Technic hole end, and those are some friction less light bluish grey Technic pins so that the drawbridge can freely move down. Oh, still a little bit fragile. So the entrance is now complete. We've got our drawbridge. I'm just going to move my phone out of the way. We've got our drawbridge which I think I still need to secure in these. And we've got our portcullis. It'll open up and fall down and we've got a proper walled area right here that has some of the windows from the 2013 castle and in general I've taken a lot of elements from the 2013 castle that I put into into here and I've been using that for the mock so I've got the central tower established I've got two little Defense posts either side for short range archery. And I'm thinking on top of these towers, on top of the main defense towers, that I want to have one more level on top of here raised up. I think I want to put catapults on top of there. I want to have dual catapults. One on top of here, about, just imagine, actually get a better piece, which is this, I can snap that in, just imagine that, plus another one of these octagonal plates, that's the height I want, and so on top I want to put a catapult on each of these two towers. There are the watch towers and I was originally going to go with these castle um, wall elements that have the curvature on them on top of these but I realized I've only got three of these left so I think I'm going to put these around the back of the castle so I'm going to conserve these for a later part 
in the build. But we've got, I've gone with an octagonal shape instead, which is more reminiscent of the 2013 castle. And I, um, I've gone with a lot of organic details, so I've tried not to make the thing symmetrical. And you can see that we've got these flames right here. And I've secured the walls to these little side defense outposts with this castle wall element on both sides. And I've done a whole lot of plate building if we come around to the other side done a whole lot of plate building so that we can make this walkway or we can establish a walkway right here to get from underneath the tops of these defense towers to these little side defense outposts and that's a three wide walkway but that's going to have to do so everything's taking shape and I'm done building the castle for today so I'll come back to this another day. I apologize for the rain outside and the TV that's on in my lounge room but we've got the back side done now at least the first floor had to use a combination of bricks to fill in this sloped area of the raised base plate and I wanted to incorporate all of my black old style castle walls that's five studs wide that has the printing for the stonework around the windows and the stone columns. So I've gotten all of my versions of those pieces and they were most notably included in the Black Monarch's Castle from I believe it was 1989. If I'm wrong about that please correct me down in the comments below. But we've also got a horse stable for the um, one for the main jousting horse, which I still need to put and find to put in his stable. And then a more common white horse for pulling some of the, um, some of the larger treasure carts or a mobile catapult or something. So that men don't have to be pulling the catapults through the forest. They can actually get a horse to do it. I think that'd be nice for to have a utilitarian type horse as part of the king's army. And if we look down here, I've taken out this black 8x8 brick. A big chunky brick that I originally had in here because I didn't know how to do something at first but then when I, I knew how to do it I took this out and this was a pain to get out and this light bluish grey 8x8 grate plate because it has the grating is removable because it's on a layer of plates and then a layer of tiles on top of that and this will be the pit for the dungeon so I think I'm going to need to find a skeleton to put in there but I had this build for a table that was from the existing 2013 castle set and so I thought if I put this table build on top of the hatch for the dungeon that could act as a table but also as a way for me to pull the the grating off something like I can get my fingers underneath and actually remove the top of the dungeon whenever they want to let their prisoners out and I had to remove this dark bluish grey 1x2 modified brick with the vertical clip bar and just replace that connection with a dark tan 2x2 two two round tile. No, sorry, not tile. Jumper. And another thing I've done is I have given the drawbridge more friction. So, 
when I go to lower the drawbridge, it it goes more slowly and doesn't fall down. But when I'm winding it back up, I can also hold it in position. And also because with the way I changed some of the connection points with the Technic pins down here, is this the drawbridge can fold all the way up. But because I've added some friction, previously there wasn't there was no friction, so this when I would try and release the drawbridge, it would just stay in place. But now that I've added friction, I can release the drawbridge down without having to press on the drawbridge as I release it. And so that's going to do it for this video because now I need to go onto Bricklink and order some pieces to fill in the tops of these towers right here. I am thinking about using some of those castle wall turrets. Where are they? Over here. To be placed on top of here like this so we can have a double curved castle wall like that. So those are my plans and hopefully I'll do them in a part two of this video. Be sure to like, comment and share this video with your friends. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. To be notified of every Mayo Hosco upload, be sure to click that bell icon so that you don't miss out. And if you want to further support this channel, if you want to see exclusive behind the scenes content, if you want to get early access to every Mayo Hosco video before they get uploaded to YouTube, if you want to get the right to vote, the right to vote on some Mayo Hosco polls, to get some administrative control of what goes on around here, and you want to see the production value of the Mayo Hosco channel grow, as well as hopefully giveaways in the future, as well as a bunch of other different perks that make you in the top hierarchy of the Mayo Hosco community, feel free to support me on Patreon. Besides the comments section down below, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Links to my social media and my Patreon are in the description of every Mayo Hosco video, as is a link to the Mayo Hosco fan club. And for another means of communication, you can find me at mayohosco at gmail.com. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. And I will see you in the next video.